Hey, it's your boy Abe from Life by Abe, coming to you with another one of my videos. I am in a park in downtown Saigon. Give you a quick look around. And uh, I'm in here, and I want to talk to you, as I'm almost tripping over a hose, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about why I decided to go to Japan as my first destination instead of uh, any place else. I'll tell you that story. So let's get right into that. Well, back when I decided that it was time for me to leave the United States to travel and, and live abroad, I uh, was frustrated, I was upset. I was also broke, I didn't have a lot of money, I wasn't making decent money, I was working like four different jobs and I wanted out. So in a fit of frustration, um, I left, called in sick to my Fortune 500 company job that I was working at and I decided that I was going to sit down and spend the rest of the day applying for jobs. So I, you know, I actually I was at work, I left. I, called, I said, hey, I'm not feeling well. I left and I went to a, I went to the house, picked up my, uh, picked up my laptop and decided that I was gonna start applying for jobs. So I started applying and I found this company on the internet. Uh, it was a teaching job. And uh, basically what I had, what they needed already, um, and so then they, I signed up and filled out the application. Uh, I didn't finish it. It was a very long application. I didn't finish it in time, but when I did finally uh, finish it, actually, no, not even. Uh, a few days later, they called me and said, hey, we like what we see so far. Can you finish the application so we can set up an interview? I was like, cool, no problem, I'll do that. So I finished up the application we set up an interview, I drove up to Long Beach and uh, had an interview. Uh, passed the interview, they said, cool, we'll, uh, we'll call you and let you know what the next steps. So I did that and I, that's how I ended up in Japan. Um, why did I accept that? Well, I was looking for a certain amount of income uh, and I was looking for a certain level of relative comfort and that's sort of what I was able to achieve with that position and that's the reason why I went to Japan first is they were the first country to respond and with a, or first company to respond with an offer that I thought was going to be reasonable so I uh, saved up for a few months uh, I didn't leave right away I had uh, I think I got the job in October and then my start date was in March so it gave me a few months to save up money, put my affairs in order, sell everything that I owned that wasn't gonna fit into my two suitcases, and then I decided to go. Now, that last day, whoo, I was all excited, I was doing all the preparation. That last day is when all the doubts kicked in, and I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to make it. I was going to end up failing or something. And uh, I decided, no, you know what? This is going to be an adventure. I'm going to power through it and uh, I'm going to make things happen. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, so I did one year in Japan um, and then I, uh, I decided to move to Vietnam. Now that's going to be the story for Vietnam. Whew, that one's a little bit more difficult. Uh, so the coming to Vietnam, I knew I didn't like Japan as much as I wanted to and I wanted a different experience. In Japan I was living in you know like a city but it was a small like country country city. Uh, I made a video about the differences between Vietnam and Japan but uh, I'll talk about it. I did some research. There's actually only 130,000 people. It was literally, literally in the Google Maps information, but uh, 130,000 people in that town. Um, and it was, you know, it was outside of a big city. 
Uh, could I have moved to Tokyo? Yeah, but it would have been way more expensive and I was already hurting as far as it goes for, for money. I, did, I wasn't making as much as I thought I was gonna make in Japan. Uh, so then I was talking to a friend. My friend said that, uh, you know what? You should go check out Vietnam. And I was like, Vietnam, really? Like, what is there about Vietnam? I'm gonna hang out here in the shade for a little bit. So I'm gonna be a little dark, er, than normal. Uh, so I said, hey, sell me Vietnam. She told me, you've got great food. It's a metropolis. There's always something going on. And, uh, and just like, it's an international hub. It's an international city. And the cost of living is relatively cheap. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I had already had offers for China at that point. I'd already had offers for Taiwan, but I wasn't excited about them. I started doing a little bit of research. There was one, one video in particular, and I'll see if I can uh, throw in a clip or something or whatever, but it was uh, this guy, his name's Erwan, Erwan Hussef or Hussein or something. Uh, he's a Filipino, French Filipino guy who goes around cooking and, and traveling and doing everything. And he did a piece on Saigon, basically like what he would do in 48 hours in Saigon. It blew my mind, made me want to come here even more, started doing more research, wanted to see more and more of, of Vietnam. That's how I ended up here. Uh, I was torn. I did have an offer in Taiwan, a solid offer, uh, but I wasn't super excited. Like it, it, it was mentally, I was like, mentally, Taiwan's the place. I'll make more money. Uh, I'll probably have a better lifestyle. At least that's what I thought. Um, I haven't been to Taiwan. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to crap on Taiwan. I'm just saying for what I was looking for, Vietnam, Saigon has clicked, ticked that box. Just Ho Chi Minh City has what I'm looking for. And that's why it's almost three years and I'm three years later and I'm still here. I'm still here doing things, living my life, and I don't really see myself leaving anytime soon. Uh, so that goes into another question. When are you coming home? I don't know the answer to that. I don't think I am coming home. So if uh, I don't think I'm coming home to move, I'll come home to visit. I'll do that soon. Things are opening up here. As you can tell, we're out. Uh, there was a six month lockdown and that's over now. And so now we're able to get out. Well, that's all of me rambling for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this time uh, and the follow-up video for why I ended up in Japan. Now, that's it, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna stop it there. All right, well, thank you very much for watching up to this point. If you like this content, hit the like button. You wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna talk to me, drop me a comment. I'll respond, usually in a few days, but I'll, I'll respond. All right, until the next time I see you, peace.